Hey guys, it's Brandon here from MicroscopeClarity.com. Today we're going to look at bacteria under the microscope and I have the perfect sample here. Um, so we have a, uh, I guess it was an old smoothie that my wife left out and forgot to clean out. So it's been growing, There's, it's been just sitting out for, for a couple of days now. There's, it just looks disgusting, it smells disgusting. So there's definitely going to be some bacteria in there and we are going to put it under the microscope and see what we can see and then uh, we're going to apply a little bit of disinfectant and just see what happens. So here's the smoothie. It looks gross and disgusting. Uh, so we're just going to take this Q-tip and I just wet the Q-tip just a little bit under the, under the faucet and I'm just going to grab a sample here on the Q-tip just a little bit, oh gosh. And then we're just gonna apply it to the slide here. And then we'll see what's on there. Okay, so here's bacteria from the uh, <laughs> left out smoothie. It kind of uh, you know started a colony growing. Um, so bacteria, they're called phase objects, which basically means that they're transparent. They're really tough to see under a standard bright field micro microscope. Um, so what I had to do to be able to see the bacteria is actually close the iris diaphragm, which um, gives us a little bit of contrast, but it, it, it actually makes the resolution go down quite a bit, which is why it's it's not great resolution here, but um, there are uh, better ways to see bacteria. Uh, I mean, you could you could stain the bacteria. You could um, uh, phase contrast is probably the most popular method. Um, so phase contrast will give you um, some some uh, some contrast um, to be able to see um, the detail there with the bacteria. But I think for what we're going to do, this is going to be enough uh, detail for us. So you can see there's a lot of movement here, um, a lot of bacteria um, in this uh, in this leftover smoothie. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look and see what happens when we add some uh, disinfectant to this. So it does look like there's some bacteria that have just stopped moving, um, but there's others that I think are just moving in with, with kind of the current um, of the liquid that we've added, the, the disinfectant. So it's hard to really tell if there's any movement with those, those bacteria, but it does look like the ones um, kind of in the background are, are stopped. Okay, so we saw a bunch of bacteria, they were moving around, they looked pretty lively. Um, and then we added the disinfectant and there was kind of a flurry, a whirlwind of, of stuff. I think I was not as careful as I probably should have been adding the droplet of disinfectant. But we did see that the bacteria um, that we were originally looking at were kind of stopped in their tracks and, and dead. So I think the, the disinfectant did what it was supposed to do. Um, I do have an article uh, linked below that has a bunch more detail on kind of how you can set this whole thing up, maybe culture some bacteria if you want to, uh, and, and kind of do this, this whole thing at home and just some more information on bacteria in general. So check it out. Uh, if you like this, this video, this type of stuff, like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time.